Welcome to my classroom. I am here to teach you how to compare and order whole numbers. When comparing and ordering whole numbers, think about the number line. Where would the numbers go? Once on the number line, the smallest numbers are on the left. So the farther left the number, the smaller the number will be. The larger numbers are on the right. So the farther right the number, the greater the number will be. Hmm. Let's check this out. Remember the inequality alligator. When facing right, it's less than, but when facing left, it's greater than. So basically, he always eats the greater numbers. So let's investigate this first example. We want to compare 2,423 and 2,432. Hmm. Let's think about the number line. Both numbers are in the 2,000s, if we look at the next place value, the hundreds place, both numbers also have four hundreds. So let's check out the tens place. One's in the twenties and one's in the thirties. So if we place them on the number line, 2,423 would be less than 2,432. All right. For example, number two, we want to compare 6,344 and 6,433. Let's think about the number line. Both numbers are in the 6,000s. If we look at the next place value, the hundreds place, one's in the 300s and one's in the 400s. So if we place them on the number line, 6,433 would be greater than 6,344. Awesome. In example three, we want to place the numbers in order from least to greatest. Let's consider where our numbers would go on the number line. All of the numbers are in the 8,000s, so we need to look to the hundreds places. Now, we want to place our numbers to the number line. Since the farther right you go on the number line, the larger your numbers get, so we want to reorder our list in order from left to right on the number line. Let's do it. And there we have it. In example four, we now want to place our numbers in order from greatest to least. Our numbers are in different thousands places, so we would want to put them in order according to the thousands place since that's the greatest place value. The 63 doesn't have a thousands place, so it would go first, followed by the 1954 since it only has 1000, then the 6060, since it has six thousands, and last, the 8975 with its eight thousands. Now we can reorder our list. Ta-da! And there you have it. That's how to compare and order whole numbers. Thanks for joining me. You are now ready to take on the challenge. Good luck!